Okay, now the other thing is, is that um, in order to make this quicker loading and able for people to um, just right off the bat, they already got their playlist in there. They don't want to sort anything out. They just want to go in and play their playlist. Um, then immediately once it starts up, you can go into that playlist, tap, start playing. Okay. But let's say you wanted to create some playlists and add some songs to it. You got 2,374 songs. Are you going to want to go all the way through this list? This would take forever. Okay. Now this may take a little time depending on the amount of songs that you have in your library. But you can push the button. Songs. What that is doing right now is sorting all these songs by alphabetically. Um, and it's going to give you a quick find bar on the side. Now, um, this is an issue that we're working on, but that takes approximately uh, 30 to 50 seconds, depending on your library. Now, I have 2,374 songs, so, but I would recommend that you go all the way down to the pound. Let's see if you can see that. There's a number symbol, and you connect on that. Now that will sort everything in this list. Once it's sorted, it will not have to do this again until you get out of the application, you go back in. So, um, and what this does is it basically makes it a lot easier for you to find and uh, drag songs in that you want in your list. Now I've seen other applications that uh, what they have is they just have the iPod on the go type listing where uh, basically you got a list of all all your songs and you have to go through and hit the plus button and, and select the ones you want well when you have large library like I do um, and a lot of users have it takes forever to get down to the bottom you need some quicker way to get to the bottom and we provided that here we just didn't want this app to take one or two minutes loading everything in alphabetically to uh, have this option so right now what it's doing is sorting through all my songs, going to put them in order. Now it's done. Now you see it came up with all the numbered songs, the songs that I have numbers on at the beginning. Now if I go anywhere in this list, P, boom, jumps it. J, jumps it. D, jumps it. I mean, it is very, very quick. And you don't have to flick through tons of songs. Okay. The other thing is, you can select on the genre, albums, or artists. They will sort also. They're a lot quicker, depending on the size of your library. Okay, now I went through all three of those. Well, uh, you know, maybe I don't want to be an artist, or I don't want to be an albums, or uh, genre. I just want to go into the songs. I hit the songs button again. It doesn't have to sort through it again. It's already sorted. I go look on the list. I go on ours. It's in there. So it just needs to load once when you're in the application, but it does take a little time. Um, we're gonna try to improve that speed and. Uh, Hopefully we'll be able to nail that down. Um, the other function that you have here is that you can search for certain things. So you push a search button. And let me do that again. Push the cancel so you can see it. Let me hold it out here so you can see. Search. And then you can type in what you're looking for. Now let's say I was looking for um, Iron Maiden or Iron Man. So I go Iron and it asks me, well, what do you want to search? Do you want to search songs, artists, albums, genres, maybe all of them? I'll just go all. And search them. And voila. And then I'll list them by type. We have artists, we have albums, we have songs. Anything with the name of Iron in it. So I want to find Iron Maiden songs, so I just go select Iron Maiden. Voila. And, 
Shoya. Just makes things a lot, lot easier to do. And then if I wanted to, I could say, okay, well, let's drag that into a playlist. It's that simple. One issue with the with the search function right now, and we are going to correct this, is that um, when you search and you find a certain song, let's say, um, we'll search for this, no, all, but basically I'm looking for a certain song. Okay, song. Okay, so we have uh, three songs, and what I was looking for is slow ride. Well. I go and try to um, drag it we can't drag right now so that that's one issue that we knew existed we're working on it and it should be out in the next release but basically you could uh, see that it's fog hat do a search of fog hat or just fog go all and then you select on fog hat and you could drag that song into your playlist so there, there are ways around that while the first version is out okay yeah let's see what else do we have here oh the main reason that you probably bought this program is to add a playlist. Okay, you can name it anything you want. Um, let's name it YouTube. It will automatically suggest uh, changes to your to correct the spelling. Um, you can do what you want. When you want to create the list, you just add the playlist. Now, well, where is it at? Right now, it is at the bottom of the list. YouTube, right there, should be. Um, also, to show you another function, is that uh, when it creates a user-created playlist, um, it throws it at the bottom and it colors it a default color of pink. Um, if you select this button at the just below all the tabs, it's a, an order playlist screen that comes up and what it does is it allows you to change the colors of your playlist tabs to anything you want or to drag and drop your, your list however you want. Um, you want to put them in order manually you can do that. If you want to put them in by number of count on the songs you can do that. If you tap it once it does the, the minimum first to the maximum and then you tap it again and it reverses the order same thing with name it'll do it uh, A through Z on the first time you tap and then Z through A on the second time you tap so I like to keep it done on manually and uh, basically every time I come in here this will be in this order now until I change